political nature, he's he's a politician. The people that he's aligned himself with, namely Elizabeth Warren, are very anti-crypto. So they, he's very much doing this against the best witches or what he would like to do. But the courts have kind of, he said in that quote, that the in, in one quote, that the courts dictate what authority he actually has. And he's going to listen to the courts here. Yeah. So that's why we think that the approvals are coming. Well, the courts certainly dictate that. And if they do get these approvals here, I think the market's going to dictate whether that was actually a wise decision. And I am curious when I hear 11 uh, ETFs potentially being filed and obviously what could potentially be quite a few others uh, down the road here. Is there enough demand appetite for that right now? Yeah, I mean, we're hearing about significant capital waiting in the wings here to invest in these Bitcoin ETFs. Now, how much of that is net new capital to Bitcoin or basically transferring it from some other different Bitcoin exposure to new exposure? That's unknown. The, the thing is, with the ETF markets, it tends to be a winner-take-most situation. It's not winner-take-all. It's not like one ETF is the one that covers this.